Hey y'all. I had a idea in my head for a couple of days this week. I've never done this. Uh, we're doing Alfredo. I've done Alfredo's, but uh, what today I'm going to uh, smoke some chicken and some bacon, and I'm going to have a smoked chicken and bacon Alfredo. It's something different. I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, I got eight chicken thighs here. Uh, all I got on them is a little olive oil and uh, this Weber kicking chicken. Uh, this was a full bottle. I used half this bottle. I seasoned both sides of the chicken. I got a package of some cheap fat bacon here. I'm going to lay that on the top rack of my grill there and uh, put the chicken under it and let this bacon grease drip down on that chicken. Throw some hickory wood in there. And we'll let that go for I don't know, 90, 90 minutes or so. Bring it in, let it cool down. I'll cut it up and uh, we'll make some Alfredo this evening. Uh, we'll serve Alfredo on bow ties. Terry wanted some bow tie pasta today, so that's what we're going to have. And uh, when the chicken gets done, I'll bring you back and let you see what it looks like. <coughs> oh, okay, we've been on here about an hour now. That's what we're looking at. Got my bacon up here. Chicken down here. Hell, I think that's damn near done. But I'm going to let it sit on there for a little bit more. I'm going to stoke my wood up and get some more smoke on there. I'm thinking another 30 minutes and that'll be ready. So, that's what we're doing. Showing the leaves, Terry. We've got bunches of leaves out here now. So, out here this morning, the squirrels is talking to me. Like usual. And, uh, that's what we do in southern Indiana. Damn near winter time now. They're calling for snow this week, I hear. Well, last I heard it was, anyways. First one of the year. I hate the friggin' winter, man. God, I hate the winter. I get cold the 1st of October, and I stay cold till the 1st of June. Jesus Christ. You're a sissy. Yeah, well. <laughs> anyways, uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, we're going to uh, get this uh, done, and then I'm going to let it cool, and I'll cut it all up later on, and then we'll make some Alfredo later on. Uh, all the new subscribers, I appreciate the hell out of that, man. I, I, I like that. Uh, and, and again, to you haters, if you want to dislike my shit, just tell me what's wrong with it. That's all I ask, you know. I, I don't mind a dislike friggin' comment, you know. You can tell me my shit sucks. You know, just let me argue with you about it. I mean, you still... Oh, and he will argue. <laughs> well, yeah, because I know how to cook. And, uh... You know, and, and that's part of it, man. You know, you just share the wealth, you know. Just don't come up here and randomly dislike shit, man. If you want to do that, stay the hell off my channel. Uh... You can make... Criticize me all you want. I don't care. But, uh... The comments I've gotten on the videos that were uh, disliked on, I know those good comments outweigh those damn thumbs down 15 to 1. So, like I say, if you don't like biscuits and gravy, then you're some kind of communist bastard. That's all I got to say. On that so. note, we'll be back. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Fuck you, Terry. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just flip this over, flip the bacon over, flip the chicken over. It ain't quite done yet. It's getting there. That's what it looks like on the skin side. Looks pretty good. Uh, this bacon, it's, it's still dripping some fat on me, so I like that. Yeah, I like fat dripping on me. So we're going to put that back in. There are 30 minutes or so, and that'll be ready. Uh, Camouflage field jacket. Air Force. Where am I at? Air Force, yeah. <laughs> I'm a veteran. Tomorrow is my favorite holiday of the year, Veterans Day. Thank you to all the vets. Uh, without our veterans, we wouldn't have the country we live in. 
Uh, Keith wouldn't be doing these videos. Well, that's not saying much nowadays. Well, but fuck no Obama. I don't care. <laughs> We're not getting off into political shit now. <laughs> no, you know, even if saying. Obama's an asshole. Uh, but. But thank you, vets. Yeah, like Terry said, to the veterans. Uh, without them, you know, uh, my, my family goes back uh, to the Civil War with veterans. Yeah, most of them fought on the wrong side, the fucking Yankees, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Here's to you. And we'll be back when uh, this chicken's done. Uh, okay, uh, so I ended up here my bacon. My chicken there and eat there. I just took it off the grill. Yummy. It smells so good out yonder, man. Try some of these chicken cracklings here. Oh, man. This is going to go good in this Alfredo tonight. <laughs> you ain't gonna have none left. You keep eating it. <laughs> I'm just eating the chicken cracklings. So? Damn, that's good. All right, try it. Ooh, it burns. It's Weber kicking chicken. Thanks, Larry. You're the one turned me on to this stuff. This is yummy stuff. And uh, so. We're gonna just cool and um, I'm gonna chop my bacon up, cut my chicken up, take it off the bone. The guy I work with is coming over later to eat supper with us, so that's where we are now. So, cheers. Alright, my god, it's 20 to 6. I'm fucking hammered. Uh, we're gonna finish this meal up sometime tonight. Okay, I got my water on for my pasta, and I uh, got my skillet here heating up. I, I cut up my chicken, and uh, my bacon, and my garlic. I'm going to need all that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this bacon in here, and crisp it up a little bit. Man, this stuff is so good. This really turned out good on this uh, smoke like this. It, uh, it's the first time I've ever done this. I just want to get a little crispy now though. It, it's not crispy and I want some crispness to it. Uh, uh, translate that for me, Terry. What? Crispness. Uh, you want some, uh, you said it, you want some crispness. crispness. Yeah, well, it, it didn't sound like it came out right. So anyways, uh, we're going to crisp this up a little bit and uh, see what happens. And in about a minute or two, I'll throw my garlic in there and uh, heat this chicken up. We're going to make us some Alfredo. Uh, let me get my trusty tongs out of here. See if I can find them. Right here, I'm going to my trusty tongs. And, uh, okay, let me get this uh, crisp up to a little bit, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, okay I uh, took my bacon out and added a uh, tablespoon or two of olive oil. Put stuff some garlic here in this, and uh, see what happens. That's uh, four pretty good sized cloves of garlic I sliced up. I didn't chop this. Uh, I wanted some uh, big pieces tonight. Boy, you should smell that. I mean, that's some yummy stuff there. So we're going to let this sweat down here a little bit in this butter or this olive oil and this baking grease. Maybe uh, 90 seconds. 
and then we'll go the next step. We'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay, that's uh, hot enough for me. I don't want to burn my garlic. So we're going to chuck some butter in there. And I'm um, uh, pretty much playing this by the seat of my ass tonight. Uh, I normally have a, a routine and a process in which I do my Alfredo and all my white sauces. Tonight I'm uh, going a little off the wall here and I'm just playing it by ear and see what happens. So we got to get this butter melted down. And uh... I don't think that's enough. It's only one stick. I like butter because it's good for the cholesterol in your life. So we'll put another half a stick in there. This should be plenty. Sure does smell good here though. Garlic and butter. Man, you can't beat that. We'll be back in a minute when that butter melts. Okay, got my pasta and my water. It's a pound of bow ties. Look, bow ties. See? Bow ties. They yummy. My butter's melted down. My garlic's toasted. It's a lot of butter. I'm going to need a lot of flour. So, we're going to make our saroo. Yeah, that ain't enough. That'll be enough, maybe. Out of pepper. We'll use this generic ass thing. Put some fresh cracked jack in there. Gotta give me some damn pepper. That's all there is to it. I'm not gonna use a lot of seasonings tonight. I don't need them. Uh, that Weber kicking chicken stuff, that's got enough seasonings on it pretty much for what I need. Your whisk. I don't need my whisk. I am going to need more flour though. in a room which I routinely do okay, let that cook and I'm going to take Terry's advice and find me a whisk mind you that's not really advice because Terry don't know how to cook but I just want to make her happy I don't give a shit what you use but you always use the whisk yeah I know so we're going to let that cook for a minute. I really should put some salt in there because I got all that flour in there. So we'll add just a little bit of salt. But that's all I need. And we're going to Get this rule working. Terry don't know how to cook, but she's watched me do it enough times that she knows when I screw up that I need to do something else. So that's a good thing. Much of this cream I'm going to need. I got two quarts of half and half. I know I'm going to need one. I don't know if I'm going to need both of them or not. We'll see. And we're just going to let that uh, cook for a minute or two. 
and uh, when I want to put some liquid in there, I'll be back in a minute. All right. Uh, so this is a little thin. I probably should add a little more flour to it, but what the hell? We're gonna deal with this. See what happens. A little, put a little cream in here. I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit. A little half and half. Work this around a little bit more. Work that around a little bit more. Work that around. Trust me, I'm going to end up with an Alfredo at the end of it. There is a method to my madness, y'all. Just watch, you'll learn. Me, if he messes this up, I will shave his mustache tonight. You're right. Oh, yeah, right. Me, it ain't gonna be no mustache, uh, mustache shaving. Quart and a half, half and half, and I can tell that ain't enough. Just by stirring it a little bit more, maybe a third of a cup or so. We'll add some pepper to this, and uh, we'll see what happens. Terry's over there stirring my wagon wheels for me for some reason. Bow ties! Or bow ties, yeah. I was going to use wagon wheels, but we got bow ties instead. Tara says she wanted bow ties. Alright, crack blackjack. I'll let this come to temperature and uh, I think I'm going to need a little bit more cream I think that's going to be enough uh, what the hell alright it's going to be like a quart and a half of uh, half and half I'll put in here And I don't know, this is thickening it up pretty good. I don't know if that's going to be enough or not. A little bit more. Alright, we're going to put that in there. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay. This ain't quite come to the boil yet. But it's hot. It's getting thick. I'm going to add my meat to it. I'm going to put this smoky ass bacon in there first. I was a pound of bacon. I ended up with, uh, is that a cup? Yeah. yeah. That's a cup of chopped bacon. That's what I came up with. We're gonna, so we're going to put that in there. I'm going to need more cream. Y'all can see that. So we're going to do that right quick. A little bit more cream. Because I got a bunch of chicken to add in there. This is five chicken thighs. I used the skin of three of them. Minus what me and Terry have ate. And five chicken thighs. I took out the bone. And so we're going to put that in there. And all I used on this was Weber's Kicking Chicken. That's some good stuff. This is spicy chicken. It's good. It's yummy. And uh, 
Yum. Get rid of that. You're making a mess again. You know, I always make a mess, damn it. That's why Keith cooks. Well, Keith needs to learn to cook a little neater. Oh, bullshit. Ain't no fun in that. Look, I'm making a big ass mess now. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for a minute or two. Get all this meat happy, hot. We'll be back. Okay, uh, my shit got too thick on me. I gotta add some more cream. So we'll dump that in there. That's all you got. I know that's all I got, Heifer. God damn. Shut up and cook. And uh, we're gonna put that cream in there. <laughs> And uh, we're going to put some uh, mozzarella cheese in there. Sarge. We're going to make a little bit more mess. And, uh... Okay, so that's what's going on now. I'm making some more mess. Jesus Christ. It's getting it so hard. It got thick on me. I think I put too much flour in it. Take it off the heat. Life in the kitchen. So and stuff, radio sauce, you got gravy. No, I just got to <laughs> add a little bit more pasta water into it. We're going to let this set for about, uh, I to turn the heat off. and We'll take it off the burner here. The residual heat will melt the cheese. We'll heat the cream up. And we'll... Add that to the pasta here in a minute. And the time it takes me to smoke a cigarette, I'll have this whipped up together and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh yeah, this thickened up on me quite a bit here. Maybe I used too much flour, but we'll we'll add some water, pasta water to it, and that, that'll fix it. We're gonna grace some parm in here. And uh we'll see what happens. Parmesan cheese, just grace some parm. That's enough for now. We'll come back and give it a dose later. Mix this up. We're going to drain the pasta and then we'll mix it up, mix the plate. See what it tastes like. And uh, go from there. So that's what we're doing tonight, y'all. Damn, it looks thick. Need me some toast. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Alright, All right, let's see what we got here. I, I think I need some pepper in here. Pepper, black pepper, I think. Oh, no you don't. Can't you see it in there? Yeah, well, I don't think there's enough. That's what I ended up with, man. My sauce got rather thick on me. Oh, damn, that's yummy. Mmm. That smoked chicken and that bacon. It took me all day to do this video, man. But it's worth it. This stuff's yummy. Mmm. Man. I was going to put some more Fresh Crack Jack on there, but I don't need it. Told you you didn't. Mmm. My Alfredo got a little thick on me, but I didn't follow my usual recipe. I was just eyeballing it. And, uh, and of course he's been drinking, so... Drinking all friggin' day, man. And, uh, <laughs> so, anyways, uh, happy Veterans Day, y'all. And, uh, let's, uh, go do something nice for a vet tomorrow. It'd be a good thing to do. And, uh, we'll see you the next time. Thank you.